Hey guys, my name is Noah Sterner and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in the sun. Finally it's starting to get warm up here in the north. As you guys might know, I work at a restaurant and every day we use tea lights, tea lights like this. Unfortunately, when we close early during the weekdays, the tea lights have only burnt halfway down. So I've took it upon myself to bring them home each night when that happens because I don't want to waste them. During the course of, I guess, two or three or four weeks, I've compiled a huge amount, a huge amount. What I'm going to do with it is I thought that I would melt it all down and make new candles. I've started to pick off the aluminum outside of it and like this and I put it in the bag. This bag is full of these empty ones. I'm going to continue emptying the tea lights out from their shell, you know, melt them all down. You guys get the gist. I'm going to be cutting up all of these bags of stuff and put it into this big one. I filled it about half the way up and then I'm going to put it on the stove right here. Start boiling some water. And this is the pot that I'm going to have the, the candle wax in, I thought. I'm just going to put it like this. I got this bag halfway full and this bag full of candle wax. So I've gathered some cans and some glass containers. And I also found some hemp thread. So I thought that I would take a chopstick, tie this onto the end of the chopstick and put it up top like that. I don't know if the wick is gonna go all the way down, like if I have to glue it down in some way. I don't think so though. So I'm tying a little knot like this put the chopstick through. I think I do have to find some glue to glue it down with. Let me go find some super glue. Hey, Stoyo. Where have we super glue now, Stans? I'm going to glue the end on the back of the bottom of the conserver, and then the other one is going to glue it down. Why are you laughing? I don't know how to do this. I found some super glue. It's tiny. Let's see if it works. It looks like something's happening. I could be wrong though. Oh my god, it's melting! I didn't think this through. I realize that now. This seems like it should be more of a garage project, but we don't have any burners downstairs. This is what it looks like so far. Okay, it's gonna be a little dirty, the wax, but I'm fine with that. I'm pouring it. This is the first one I made. It's not really centered, but that's gonna have to do the same thing here. It's not really in the middle where I wanted to. I don't even know if it's touching the bottom, but. <coughs> okay guys, we're back, it's the next day. This is what the melted wax looks like. It's hardened because I had stuff to do last night. This is what the candles look like so far. So we've encountered a problem, the fact that these holes, I didn't poke them. They were made by the wax itself. I don't really know why that happened. 
It seems like it's hollow in there. I don't know. Maybe this one is the only one that actually worked. I'm guessing it depends on how hot the wax is when I pour it in. This one is all like flaky on the top. Hey guys, it's been a week since I started this project, but I can't do it when I come home from work every day because I come home in the middle of the night and my I still live at home, so my parents will be woken up by whatever I do. We did encounter a problem last week, and that was that some of the candles have sunken into themselves. So I saw this clip on TikTok where you should poke holes in it and heat it up with a heat gun to like lower the top level. So I'm gonna do that instead of melting the whole thing in the container. So my dad said that he had a heat gun. Well, not really a heat gun, but like a device we used to use to ignite a fire so i'm gonna try and use that as a heat gun and it's in the garage so he said it was on the floor oh here it is this is what i'm gonna be using it looks a little burnt what is, is that glue i don't know how i'm supposed to do this to be honest It's working! It's also said that I was supposed to poke holes in it, so I'm gonna try that. Oh no, I'm burning the- ah! It seems like it's working. Hopefully that'll work. Now let's fill up these babies. This time around, I super glued it earlier and a larger piece of string to the bottom and now it has actually stuck. So hopefully it won't float upwards, which it did last time. So I'm gonna try out with the first one. So this time I'm gonna start off with just pouring a little bit into the bottom, just like halfway up and then let that harden before, just a little bit before I pour in the second part. It's a while later now. I was sitting editing this video today and I realized that it didn't have an ending. So I have my lighter that looks like a matchstick. Isn't it cute? I love it. Whenever I move out from here, I'm gonna take it with me. Next time I do this, I'm gonna pour some peppermint oil in it and see if that makes it it a scented candle. If it is, then this is gonna be a perfect gift, you know? This is the one that is made of the Hellman's mayonnaise jar. I thought it would be cool to make them in these because then you, you don't have to blow it out. You can screw the cap on and it'll cut off the air supply. It's fun that I could accomplish something without having, you know, practiced it beforehand or anything. This is the first time I've tried making candles like in jars like this. When I was younger, we used to do like the long candles where we just dip the string in in the wax. I want to make this so I can give it to people and design like custom labels and stuff like that. I hope you enjoyed watching me try something new and I hope it inspires you to try something new as well. And I'll see you in my next video.